Okay guys, thanks for joining us in module eight where we're gonna be doing the exercise of creating a media gallery widget template. So for this exercise, we're going to create a custom carousel layout for the Liferay Media Gallery application using some widget templates. As a quick overview, we're going to add the media gallery to Liferay. We're going to upload some images. We're going to create a custom widget template. And then we're gonna to check to make sure that our custom carousel works. So let's head over to our browser where we can see that we've navigated to localhost 8080. That's gonna bring us to our Liferay um, instance. And if you don't have your instance installed, go ahead and pause now and get that set up. Okay, first things first, we're going to add the media gallery widget onto the page. We can do that by clicking this plus button here in the top right. We're going to search for media gallery. That's gonna be our media gallery widget under widgets, quick search for media gallery gives us this media gallery widget under content management. We can either drag that to the page where we want it to be or click add, both of those will work. Go ahead and close out this pane while we wait for that to load. Okay, now we have our media gallery up. We can go ahead and click the add icon on the top left corner of the media gallery portlet and we'll select multiple files upload. Once that page is up, we'll go ahead and click Select Files. We're going to navigate to wherever we saved the exercise folder. And for me, that's gonna be in the exercise folder. Here we can see it inside of exercises. We'll select these four images, Yellowstone one through four, and go ahead and open that up. We have all of those files ready to be saved. You can fill in a description here if you'd like. We'll just call these Yellowstone images. Set permissions here if you'd like, but we won't in this case. And we'll go ahead and click publish. And those are all uploaded now. Once those are all published, we're going to create a custom widget display template. We can do that again by hovering over the media gallery, selecting options and choosing configuration. Under our media gallery configuration, we can go ahead and click on manage templates under the display template section. So here under setup, if we scroll down a little bit, we'll see display template. We can click on manage templates. That's going to allow us to select our widget templates. We don't have any right now. So what we'll go ahead and do is create a media gallery template by selecting the plus sign on the top right. Go ahead and call this My Custom Carousel as our name. And then inside of our script section, we can delete this comment. And we've actually provided the code for you in the snippets section. If you navigate to your exercises folder under snippets, exercise one, we'll notice that there's an XML file here with all of the code. We can just open that with our favorite text editor once we have that copied, we'll go ahead and paste that into our script section. Everything looks good here. We'll go ahead and save that. Okay, now we have a widget template created. What we'll do is exit out. And it's not showing just yet. What we're gonna do is exit out of that, do a refresh. Try that again, go to options, configuration. Under display template, we can now see our My Custom Carousel. We'll select that and we'll go ahead and click Save. We see a success message saying that you have successfully updated the setup. We can go ahead and close the configuration dialog. And we can verify that our media gallery now has this beautiful custom carousel that rotates through our images. Okay, that takes us to the end of this exercise. Let's go ahead and move on with the rest of the lecture.